Hey everybody, welcome back to Windless Effort Conducts an Experiment. So I have, you know how I've been talking a little bit off and on lately, you can ignore that previous run, that was just a little bit of practice, because why not? You know how I've been talking, <clears throat> excuse me, in the recent episodes about like uh, my recording setup and how the, the sound quality just was like subpar or something? I am currently conducting an experiment where I have, uh, well, I've put a blanket over my head. <laughs> no, to, to, to specify, I have draped a blanket over my head and over the back of my, my screen, so my monitor and my TV, which are my, basically my, my dual monitor setup. It's, I don't know how soundproof this is going to be, because I can, I can actually feel the reverb of my voice reflecting off of my screens, considering how large they are, but I can't cover them? So, I'm just trying to, like, block out any potential sound waves bouncing back, um, by, from the rest of the room. So I have taken my big, huge, thick comforter and just stuck it over my face. It's not over my face. I can actually, I can see the screens perfectly, at least I, I can see most of the screens perfectly, which is really all that I could ask for. Um, I feel like doing a greed run today, because I can. This, uh, this video is being recorded on a day when I will not have any videos uploaded because just I, I had a weird day yesterday and kind of couldn't bring myself to do any of this stuff, so I was just kind of like, eh, eh. So I'm just going to record today and maybe some extra and try and actually start building a buffer. That would be nice. I have also turned the gain down on my microphone, which means that uh, it will be much less able to pick up sound. Which, which means hopefully it's only getting my voice, and I've moved far closer to the mic than I was before. So hopefully all these factors combined will make for a decent experience. I hope. We'll see. I know that I could... I could run a test. Who did I just get? Oh, Monster Kid! Okay. I know that I could run a test. Blue cap is a pretty fantastic start. I could run a test and like do a little bit of a test recording before. How many times can I say I could run a test? Um, the answer is I could keep saying that forever. I could say that the entire episode. I could run a test. No, but quite frankly, I'd rather just get a video done because I, I feel up to it right now and apparently that is kind of a rare occurrence. So I'm just like, maybe I should just uh, capitalize while I feel this. And because this setup is very strange, the angle at which I'm viewing the screen is unfamiliar, you could say. The angle is unfamiliar, the, the way I'm holding my keyboard is unfamiliar. This is gonna be... well, you know. It's a test. It's... it's mm hmm. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. So far, I'm not liking it just because it's unfamiliar, but that doesn't mean it is gonna, doesn't mean it's gonna stay that way. It, it just means that's that's how I, that's my perception of this whole thing now, and that's 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 natural I think considering how vastly different this is compared to what I usually do. So I'm not I'm not really super concerned right now. It's something I can get used to. You might be able to hear the sound of my keyboard a little bit more than usual. That's that's a result of me sitting closer to the to the microphone. One of these days I will be able to actually, you know, get the accessories necessary to make this microphone set up as I want it to be, and by as I want it to be, I mean, um, well, with a, with a with an adjustable arm, I still don't know exactly what this is. I'm going to ignore it for now. I'd rather check and see what's in here. Could be anything valuable. Yeah, Jar of Flies is pretty good, I think. <laughs> nice. That is definitely a really good find. Jar of Flies is a very good use item, as far as use items go. Come at me. That's not quite coming at me, but I'll take it. Remember the days when Pin could blow itself up? Those were the days. Pretty good days, I think. Generally. So does Monster Kid just start with slightly higher damage than than I would expect, or what? I can't quite tell. I feel like I feel like I'm more powerful than I than I normally would be at this stage in the game, considering I have no damage ups. Mm. I know you could just chalk that up to to blue cap, high fire rate ultimately means more damage dealt per second, but like, I don't know. I really do feel like I'm killing things a bit easier than normal. Well, whatever. Monster Kid ain't gonna complain, so I won't. Look at, look at, look at them. They got that cute little, oh my god. I just got completely blindsided by this. I was gonna say that cute little grin, and then friggin' Larry's just like, nah, bruh. 
You're having a good day? Well, hmm, hmm, let me see what I can do about that. Gosh, what a jerk. Why do I hang out with Larry? I, I have never actually met anyone named Larry. I'm, like, convinced the name Larry just stopped being fashionable ages ago, and... Uh, what if you could chalk that up, like, entirely to the Three Stooges? I bet you could. Blame the Three Stooges for the fact that Larry isn't a popular name anymore. <clears throat> And not even that it's not a popular name, it's more that it's just not a name that's ever used, really. <clears throat> Although, to be fair, I have seen some people use it, so, like, eh, I'm not really too dead set on this opinion. I'm gonna take both of these. God, I cannot do the double play ever. Why is it so hard? Give me a pill. 48 hour energy, huh? Negligible. Get the double play! Jesus Christ, why am I so bad at this? <laughs> Range down. Lovely. Well, whatever. It's not like I'm really hurting for health right now. Uh, PhD could be valuable. I would have liked to have that a little bit ago, because then my range wouldn't be complete ass. Look at this. That is awful. What do you do? I know this is an HP up. I don't know what else it does. Hmm. Oh, you know, I should I should investigate the curse room before I leave this floor. Probably should have done that earlier, to be honest. Monster Kid does start with a lot of health. Hmm. Oops. That's okay, though. Probably won't have made much of a difference anyway. Oh, now I really wish I took PhD. Now I really wish I took PhD. God damn. That would have been nice. That's okay, though. I'm I'm sure I'll probably find some range ups over the course of this over the course of this run. I hope. Something like that. More HP. I totally needed that. Hmm. <laughs> I'm kidding, actually. I really didn't. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. This is undefined, isn't it? No, it's missing now. Wait. No, what? I, I should have known the diff- What? Well, what? What? <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm looking at my items. I have Key Beggar, I have Evil Eye, I have Quad Shot, I have... I have Rubber Cement, I have Ipecac, and I have Dr. Fetus? Are you serious? What the hell? Oh my god, okay. Well, at the very least, I'm invulnerable to my own explosions, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? I'm sorry, I... What? I, I... I shouldn't have taken Missing No, okay? I... or whatever the hell that was. I shouldn't have done that. But, like, oh my god. This has got to be powerful. Extremely powerful. <clears throat> I need... I need to get Spider Mod. Fire Rate is so bad. Oh, and I... and I'm... and I have Fire Mind, I guess. Or at least Hot Bombs. Jesus. Damn, this is cool. This is awful, but it's so cool! Oh, crap. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I stepped on the button. Or rather, I got explodified into the button. That's... that's delightful. Well, it's good to see the blast radius is very large, at least. Okay, so these flies are just going to annihilate everything. I, um... <laughs> wow. God damn. Okay. Okay. Exactly how large is this class radius? And yeah, these flies. These flies. I have Ipecac and Dr. Fetus. These flies are going to be, like, the strongest thing. The explosion totally just knocked me into the enemies. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Okay, well, I, I have explosions, so let's re-roll. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is necessary. Yeah, noticeably better. I am extremely slow, so let's take caffeine pill. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Just one shot champion job. What? Um, I, 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 um, I'm gonna take the pact, and I'm gonna 
I'm gonna... Oh my god. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me if I'm a little in awe right now. Secret rooms, maybe? No. Hmm. BJ's would be nice right now. Probably. Okay. Okay, well, this entire thing is- this- this build is gonna- ooh, there's this- that's a weird place for a secret room. And <laughs> an eternal heart? Sure. This build is gonna get re-rolled anyway, cause of- cause of missing now, so. I'm not like- ooh, nice. No, I think for greed mode, Jar of Flies is actually better. This is gonna get re-rolled, okay? It could be something worse, it could be something fantastic, who knows? So I'm not super attached to it. Um... Guillotine... I see Strange Attractor, I see Sad Bombs. Okay. I have a Gaster Blaster. I have a Pink Thing, which I assume is Rainbow Baby. Yeah, it's Rainbow Baby. Ares. That's the opposite of helpful. I'm not nearly fast enough for that to be useful. Darn, the last, the last one was so good! Now I'm just kind of disappointed. That's okay, though. These things happen when you take an item that you probably shouldn't. Oh, I have Bum Friend, too. That's, uh, that's really bad. I don't want you, bum friend. I don't want you at all. You're, like, not helpful. God, guillotine is just messing me up. And I have a leech. I think these flies are still as powerful as they were with the last build. Just, um... What visual bug was that? Just because they were spawned when I had the whole crazy explosion things... Yeah, bum friend is not something I would ever, ever take in greed mode. This is unfortunate. Oh, right, I have a gaster blaster. Gotta remember this. Nope, stop taking my money. Stop taking my money. That's right. That's my money, jerk. Didn't I say that's my money? Oh, my God, magnetic tears. Are the worst. And also guillotine. Guillotine and magnetic tears are seriously messing me up. Really. Like, holy crap. You know, I think this is actually technically useful. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll take Roba, baby. It's gonna get re- It's gonna get re-rolled anyway. So I'm not really too concerned. It's the hollow. It was the hollow. Give me the money. Freaking cage. With magne with magnetic tears, no less. That's fantastic. Well, you know what, guillotine. This is what you get, cage. You get guillotine. You get faced. F faced. Yes, that's exactly what happens when you have guillotine. Uh. Um. Okay. I'll take a cube of meat. Oh, it's pin and- oh, well, it was pin in the gate, now it's just the gate. Wow, gosh, that was, like, merciless there, friend. Oh, well. Considering things are gonna get re-rolled anyway, I am totally okay using my orbitals for damaging things, because I'm gonna get hit anyway, and it's just like, well... Build's probably gonna get re-rolled regardless of what I do, so I might as well just screw around. Mmm, let's check this. Yeah, that was technically worthwhile. That's another item to be re-rolled, I guess. Well. Let's try and get a few things... Get a few things in good position before I go on. Please don't be as wacky. Uh, Beelzebub. Wide Tears. I... I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. The slowest thing. God, I am slow. Do I have spectral? Uh, I guess I have spectral tears. Who was this? Oh, monster candy. Right, right. I need to remember that. That is monster candy. That's something I've actually seen. Oh, I can just... Oh, okay. I have bomber boy. Good, good to know. I can just break things. I forgot about that. And by forgot, I mean I didn't actually know. I have purity, looks like. Um, that's cool. 
I am almost slow enough that I can't escape my own bombs. Wow. Um, I don't think I need either of those those items right there. I have way too much HP already. Why, yes, that is explosivo. Oh my god, this just feels really, really gross. <laughs> I'm so slow, and my damage is so subpar, but at least I don't have bum friend anymore. What a jerk. Seriously. Bum friend would not recommend. Well, no, bum friend is okay sometimes, but not in greed mode. Mm, this is... This is not a good situation because I am very, very slow. I don't know if you could tell, but I can't outrun anything. I can't, I can hardly even dodge. I did not realize that my speed could be dropped so much by missing no. This is a, this is what I would classify as a pretty bad. Okay. Yeah, starter deck could be useful. It's discounted, I'll take it. Gives me the Empress. That's actually very, very helpful. Um, I don't think I need anything else right there. You know what? I'm just going to use Empress because, quite frankly, I don't think I'm going to encounter something this low damage again. So I'm fine with it. I should have been targeting Loki that whole time. I need to remember that these, these enemies can kill each other in greed mode. They, they can, anyway. I don't think they always will, but it's very much a possibility. So, confirmed real MVP of this build is Explosivo, without a doubt. In case you... yeah, just straight up. Explosivo is far more useful than anything else right now. I am so slow that I can't even dodge Monster 2 stuff. This is like the worst! The worst! Oh man, I'm very glad I don't have to ex explore an entire floor right now because I I would I would tear my hair out if I had to do that. <laughs> and I don't want to do that because I have a lot of hair on my head and I'm kind of fond of that hair. It's pretty good stuff. Really? 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 Double goddamn bloat? Are you serious? What did I do in a past life to deserve this crap? Oh my god. I hate... I hate everything about... I hate everything about this. I can't do anything. I'm too slow. Missing no why. Why? God, why do these laser animations have to be god awful? Why do they have to be in the upper corners, no less? I can't do anything about this! I- I can't prevent them hitting me, it's not possible. Fine. Fuck you. Fuck you. No! No, your stupid laser animations! <laughs> Missing no why. Oh, okay. Fine. I'll try it again. And you know what I'm not going to do this time? I'm not going to take missing note. I'm just not. I'm just not going to do it. It's just it's just a bad idea. It's just a really bad idea. Fucking missing note. I like the concept of missing note. I really do. But, you know, I have to draw the line somewhere. And in this particular case, making me that fucking slow against goddamn double bloat. Where they just casually pulled themselves up, pulled themselves up in the upper corner, which is like the only place they can be where they will always hit you and you can't not be hit, more or less. Double fucking blow, man. The worst. I can't fly anymore. Oops. Oops. Double goddamn freaking bloat. SMH. That's really all I gotta say about that. Now that I've said everything, now that now that I've said everything else, all I have to say is shake my fucking head. I 
do believe that is a thing that qualifies as kind of unfair. I mean, it wasn't completely unfair, but like, I don't know. If my damage was a little bit higher, I would have been okay. But it wasn't. Ugh, retrovision really making me feel like I'm... Ugh. It's a little nauseating. Just a little bit. Well, okay. You know, as much as Magic Mush is one of the best items in this entire game, Nod Leaf has won me runs in greed mode before. I'm gonna take Magic Mush anyway. All stats up in a 1.5 damage multiplier really sounds pretty swell. You should, like, roll your head at me. Thank you. Do it again. Considering I can three-shot it. Perfect. Oh, it's gurglings. Gurglings and turrets. That's that's exactly what I wanted to see. It's actually not that bad. Not in a big room like this. In a room where I have ample space to maneuver around these things, gurglings are not a problem. I remember when these were my most hated boss. Back in um, back in the days before Afterbirth, I, I despised fighting gurglings. It was seriously the worst thing. And then I learned this neat trick called if you push yourself against the wall, they won't ever target you. And then they, I think they remove that in Afterbirth, at least to a certain to a certain extent. But that that just made my life so much easier. Honestly, the reason I hated fighting them was just because hitting them put them so in such weird courses, and that would always knock them into the direction I was moving. And eh. I know why that was happening, but it didn't make it any less piss-ass annoying. It's because, sorry, face is a little itchy. I'm trying to alleviate that. There we go. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, contract from below isn't even remotely valuable, I don't think, because you don't actually get room drops in this, in greed mode. So I'm going to take this, because flight. I'm going to ignore the others. And Spectral Tears is cool, too. It gives me a chance to hide sometimes. Which, you know, has its, uh, has its merits. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a key, since I apparently completely forgot to do that. Oh, hey, I can fly. I didn't need to buy a key. Oops. My bad. That's okay. I'll have a spare key for the next floor, then. Sure. I'll take the equivalent of the um heart. It's more yummy and less heart. It might be more hearty to heart more hearty though, I don't know. Uh, okay. Concussive tears is technically a damage up. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> I think monster candy. I think it's just an HP up. So something tells me pageant boy is technically just straight up way more valuable. <laughs> Considering it's a greed mode. There's no reason for me to be fighting these things, to be honest. But you know what? I do what I want. And you can't stop me. And by you can't stop me, I mean you literally can't. Because I'm here and you're not. Ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. You know how it goes. God damn, I'm hungry. What should I eat? I think there's some leftover pizza. I can make a salad, probably. Or I could just uh, get some cereal. Like the non-creative, boring person that I am. I'm not actually... I don't actually think that I'm boring, and I think that I am pretty creative. I just... Uh, I just prefer eating cereal. Although, honestly, I my, my eating habits, my diet is just so incredibly, like, simplistic anyway. It doesn't matter. I could, I could probably live on, like, cereal, salad, and, uh, cheese. Cereal, salad, and cheese, and, and, and pasta. In, like, whatever variation. Whatever variation, whatever forms. That sounds, that sounds pretty satisfactory to me. Okay. Let's see here. I'm gonna re-roll this stuff. I... Ooh. Okay, so this is pretty good. And car battery, though. Ooh, that could be so useful. 
but I don't think I need the extra healing. It's not useful now, and it's very likely that I'll find something that's even more useful in the future, so I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna worry about it. Find something- I mean, like, something I could- some alternative on which I could spend this 15 cents that I have. Or 19, but the 15 that I would be spending on- YOU KNOW WHAT I MEAN! A future shop along the course of this run could have something far more valuable. And car battery. That's what I'm trying to get at. Yamhart hasn't even proven remotely helpful yet, though, because I haven't taken red heart damage. <laughs> I'm not gonna rule it out. It's still possible that that happens. But it's not, like, super probable. Seriously, you made me fight Fistula, and then you're gonna make me fight double Fistula? Come on. Really? Throw me a bone. Give me some variety. Be interesting. Although, honestly, this is, like, not even remotely a challenge. Fistula is not a problem in a big room like this. Especially with the fire rate and damage that I have now. <laughs> not a problem. Not a problem at all. Alright, you. Come on. Let's get this over with. Sweet. Judas's shadow, huh? Interesting. That would be a lot of damage, but then if I won, I'd be winning as the equivalent of Judas. Who would that transform me into, I wonder? I don't actually know. Hmm. That might be worth taking, but I'm not gonna do it. I really don't feel like sacrificing my health for that. So what I'm gonna do instead is... Is you again! You know what? No. I don't know what you do. So I'm gonna ignore you. I don't need shot speed. I, <laughs> Seriously? You give you, you, you me car battery again? Alright, well, uh, Mom's key is pretty good, but there aren't that many chests that I'd get to see over the course of this run. It is a greed mode, after all. Uh, yeah, no, this is appealing. You can ignore it. Curse room, right. That's a thing. Hey! Definitely worth. Tinted rocks? No tinted rocks? Okay. I'm gonna drink a little bit of water here. If that's cool to you. In one of those rare moments where I remembered that my microphone has a mute button on it. <laughs> Tears is- uh, screw is pretty good. So my fire rate's getting pretty high up there. My damage is good. Fire rate's good. I can fly. My HP is looking good. This is just generally looking pretty dang good. Mm, I don't care about any of that. Bombs, on the other hand. Potentially valuable. <clears throat> Given how rare they are, I might as well optimize a little bit here. Get you right in there and do this. Well, well, it was a it was a key, which is fine, technically valuable. Robo baby, hello. Nice to see you again. I guess technically. You just saw Robo baby on the last run. Last run, last attempt. That's what I meant. <sighs> All right. Yeah, so far, there isn't really. Too much to say about this, it's just kind of generally going real well. Considering I haven't even had a use for the pie yet at all. I think that's too I think I'm doing okay. It's not perfect though. There are there are some things that, that, that could stand to be better. I could have a little bit higher damage, I could have more health, that would be that would be valuable, I think. But, you know, none of that really matters at the moment. This stuff's really only going to be valuable, like, I guess when fighting Ultra Greed. Okay. Mmm, Gemini, not worth, probably. Black Candle could be valuable just to avoid Curse of the Blind. Blue Cap would be even more tears, but I don't think I need more of that. 
Mmm, let's take Black Candle. D12? I don't actually know what this does. Rerolls rocks. Oh my. <laughs> I, um... Really? That's what it does? That, that's, that's weird. Huh. It, it re-rolls rocks. I, mm-hmm. I don't know how to feel about this. Huh. Well, uh, I guess I'll just... You know what? This could actually be a lot more valuable than, than the pie. Than the cinnamon butterscotch pie. It could be. I suspect it might be. Aw, oh, you and your no-tell shots. I hate you too, you jerk. I guess I'll... I guess I'll keep the D12. It can do some neat stuff. So, like, sure. I guess. <laughs> I, I mean, like, like frequently in these rooms that, um... The rooms with the trapdoors... Or at least the rooms with the jump down spots. I guess they are trap doors, aren't they? Those things typically have a lot of rocks in them. So, sure. Wow. Wow! They typically have a lot of rocks, I say. The game's just like, nah. Nah. Nah, you're actually completely wrong, and here's why. It's because you're stupid. I bet the game probably. I bet. I bet. I bet this game probably thinks that I'm stupid. Probably thinks that all the players are stupid, honestly. Wouldn't surprise me even a little bit. Moonstar. Well, now I'm kind of regretting not taking Judas' shadow. That would have been useful, I think. So I can safely ignore that, because I don't need it. Well... I... I guess I'll keep this thing. Let's re-roll these rocks, maybe? Well, that that wasn't that wasn't really very valuable. This is weird. What a weird use item. Let's see if any of these rooms have a large quantity of rocks. This one does not. Oh joy, now I'm way too fast. Perfect. This one's got a lot of rocks. Yeah, yeah, this has got a lot of rocks. I can safely do the thing here. This looks very useful to me, so I'm just gonna do this. Well, I'll think about those things. Deck of cards, huh? You know, to be fair, the deck of cards is uh, probably objectively way more valuable than D12, but the D12 can still get me some stuff, so I guess I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. Okay, how about this? I'll hold on to the D12 for now. Why am I so fast? I know why I'm so fast. Don't answer that. I'll hold on to the D12 for now. And I will take the deck of cards with me when I leave the floor. How's that sound? Because the deck of cards is just straight up better. And by better, I mean the potential benefits far outweigh those of the D12. But I kind of want to re-roll all those rocks in the shop anyway. So... I'll keep the D12, get get the charge, which really isn't that hard to do. It's only a three-room charge, it's nothing. Nothing. Laser ghost. Laser ghosts! That's a crap ton of laser ghosts. You would. Jesus Christ, that's a that's a lot of that's a lot of really tanky enemies. Okay, okay. Fine. Fine then. Thank you, Celtic Cross. <laughs> You're making my job just a little bit easier. I I appreciate I appreciate what you stand for. I wanna see what happens if I do this. It did basically nothing. So the D12 seems kinda silly. Silly in, in, in I, I guess, a good way, probably. Let's see if I can so get something more useful here. Chaos. Uh, no. 
I'm gonna buy a discounted key because it's discounted. I'm gonna buy Stigmata. I mean, Legendary Hero. That's what I meant, right? Why is the leg Legendary Hero sprite shaped like a... Like a burger? Is it... Is it... It, 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 it really... Doesn't it don't, doesn't it really like that color scheme the, the layout doesn't it really look like a burger? You got your sesame seed bun on top. You got your patty. There's some lettuce. Can't see the cheese though. I guess it must be hidden under the top part of the bun. I was too busy looking at that to realize that I just took a hit from Super Empty. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Welcome to paying attention. Wow, really? 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 Cage and Super Wrath and Super Envy. At the same time, I, yes, I know that that Super Envy was already there. I'm aware of this. Doesn't mean I can't be a little miffed at it. Not that the cage is very difficult right now. I can fly and there's a perfect hiding spot. Alright, you know what, Super Envy? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you've done? Who do you think you are? Why do you think? Agito ergo sum. There you go. I don't actually know exactly how to pronounce that because I don't speak Latin, but you, you know what I mean. And if you don't know what I mean, then, well, that's fine too. It's not exactly the most well-known phrase ever. It's one of those, like, really, really overused Latin phrases, I suppose, just because of its origin. Cogito uh, ergo sum means I think, therefore I am, more or less. It can generally be translated to such, but there's there's some more. There are definitely some better translations out there. That's just the most common one. Because of its origin from some philosopher dude. I want to say it was Voltaire. I, uh, I don't remember. I stopped caring. I stopped caring about, like, important philosophical figures ages ago. A long time ago. Considering I had to, I was like forced to study them in college, and quite frankly, it bored me when I when I signed up for a psychology class, and or not not psychology, sorry. When I signed up for a uh, did I say psychology earlier? I meant philosophy. When I signed up for a philosophy class, I'm just like, oh sweet, I can discuss philosophical topics and all sorts of neat stuff like that. Nope, nope, nope. Intro to philosophy is a 100% memorized dates and names. Just God, why? Memorize dates, names, and general contributions. <laughs> it's so boring. Two Empress cards, that's fine. I'm actually kind of sort of really missing my my pie now. Well, it should still be... Oh, wait, I left it behind. What am I doing? Okay, uh, this is a scary situation. Chaos would just cause problems, so I'm not going to do that. Let's open this. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably worthwhile. Fate's reward isn't exactly the best item in the universe, but it's not that bad either. It's more or less just a direct upgrade. Like a little a little bit of extra tears. Yeah, sure. It's one of those this will not harm your run types of things. Or at least most likely it will not have the potential to harm your run. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> no one saw that coming, I swear. Um, buy a key. I didn't need to buy a key. I kind of regret buying a key. I am okay with this. Okay, okay. So this is some good stuff. This is some good stuff going. Good damage, good tears. Fly. Um, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna wait. I'm sure you probably are aware of what I plan to do with this sun card, but um, in case you're not, you'll see. I'm gonna let it go. I'm just gonna let it go. I don't really need more money. I don't need to fight. For now, at least, I'm completely safe right here. Do, do, do. Fine then. Be that way, you jerk. What hit me though? Like really, what what did hit me there? Hmm. Oh well, whatever. Was that a good use of a sun card? No. Oh, what else am I gonna do with it? 
Use it for full health. I guess technically that would be valuable. Like if I could get an IV bag, I could have used the sun card to get some extra money, but I don't care that much. Really don't think it matters. That was all sorts of wrong buttons that I just pushed right there. Oops. Oh wow. That's a pretty lucky dime. The Wheel of Fortune, you serious? Okay, well, I will leave it there, I suppose. It's not gonna change much whether or not it's there. <clears throat> Mr. Dolly. Mr. Dolly's pretty good. I think my fire rate is actually higher. I'm gonna take Jesus Juice. And I think... I think I may very well be at the point where I can safely not need to buy anything else from shops. Unless I see something that's like absolutely phenomenally I need to take this for a fact, pretty sure I'm gonna be okay now. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure. Pretty, pretty sure. Just like generally certain. Who's next? It's the Fallen. I don't care. You don't concern me at all. Doesn't mean I won't be hit, just means it doesn't concern me. Even if I do get hit, I would not be I wouldn't be bothered either. Either way. Okay. Okay. Let's get a deal with the devil. I mean, let's go see Flowey. Or Toby. Or whomever it may be. I mean, that's hilarious. These guys can kill themselves can kill each other. It's pretty great. <laughs> that's the nice thing about greed mode that you won't see in other forms where you have to fight like um, multiple bosses at the same time. Generally, the Oh, multiple bosses won't hurt each other. Although I guess in uh, in boss rush they do sometimes, but in greed mode it's just a default. They do hurt each other. Yeah, yeah Krampus. I don't care, Krampus. I'm ignoring you, Krampus. Hmm. <laughs> it's a little late for these keys to be valuable. That's fine though. Okay, um, cool. All right. Oh my God, this really, it plays this song here? It, it plays Tem Shop here? The Temmie Shop? I, really? I, I had no idea. Wow, that's kind of surprising actually. Might as well save this Empress, this Empress card for the Ultra Breed fight. I don't really think I'm gonna need it here, though. Honestly. Death card. God damn you. Death card, huh? Alright. I have an even better hiding spot this time. And I have the ability to be patient. And my, the, the blanket that's draped over my head and over my screens is starting to sag a little bit, and it's kinda getting in my way. I wonder if I can just, like, nudge it. Yeah, that might work. What do you think you're doing getting close to me, you fricker? What do you think you're doing literally jumping onto me? That's not something you're supposed to be able to do. God. What a mean. What an absolute mean. What a goddamn average. Seriously, how could you, how could you? What a goddamn average. What a mean, yes. Yep, yep, that's that's exactly how exactly how I talk all the time. What a freaking mean. You know what? This key beggar might actually be useful, because I really don't need these keys anymore. Not even a little bit. Oh god damn it. I hate it when I accidentally step on the button, it's really irritating. Yo, thank you. Oh that was unfortunate right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, triple frail. Nice. I'm wishing I'd save the death card now. Can these things hurt Wow. Um, like, wow? Jesus Christ. This is a little more hectic than I would like it to be. God damn. Yep. This is always the same, apparently. I don't think I've ever actually seen, like, a different deal with the devil wave that you need to complete on the shop. Ever. 
Just a bad thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of? No? Yes? A little bit? I'm just letting Fate's Reward do damage right now, because... I don't really feel a need to be more, spe more specific than this. That didn't actually hit me. Okay. I'll take it. I'm fine with that. Oh, I'm not fine with that, however. Fate's Reward! Do damage! It's up to you, friend. Even though you're bad compared to me. But you're you're better compared to literally nothing. Sweet. I only got hit once. Did I get hit once or twice? I think it was only once. Yeah, whatever. Fine by me. Alright, I do appreciate the black hearts. Sweet. Since I have these extra keys, on the off chance, okay, yeah, sure, that's fine. A little bit of extra money is not going to hurt anything. <laughs> There's another key. I totally needed that. Um, to be safe, I can stock up on a little bit of extra health. And I wish I had used my bomb in here. With the frickin' double play! Oh, I don't need to worry about that right now. Yeah, no. Line up? Maybe? <laughs> Bottle of pills. <laughs> sure. Bad gas, of course. Cards, doesn't matter. Empress, fine. Cool. Let's get this done. Ultra Greed, I'm coming for you. You can't hide forever. Sweet. Oh boy. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult than I'd like it to be. Just because I'm not exactly like the most potent killing machine right now. But it shouldn't be that bad. Empress card. And here we go. Now for the long ass, kind of irritating fight of dealing with Ultra Greed. Hello, Heart Coin. Oh, hi. Oh my god. How did neither of those hit me? I don't know. Nope. Seriously? Just gonna summon all the spiders ever? That's fine, I guess. Oh, whoa! Whoa, that knockback that knockback holy crap where did you get money how did you how did you get money ultra greed why are you all angry what did i do to you what did i ever do to you other than just kind of storm in here and start beating you up what did i ever do <laughs> let's break some of these things if i can yeah i got a few At least these are not difficult enemies to fight. Mm. That explosion? That hit me? Damn. That's kind of frightening. Just a little bit. Whoa. You don't. You and your goddamn coins. It's okay though. Oh, whoops. God, that thing was still back there. Why are you so freaking mad? Why are you so mad? I need to kill these things. Oof. Oh, jeez. What I wouldn't give for uh, piercing right now. It's okay though. Got Ultra Greed down about halfway. It's, it's pretty good so far. When I'm able to one-shot these enemies, I really don't care that much about the keys. I just I just try to get a few of them out of the way, because, like, at least one or two, because you know, I really don't like dealing with such large crowds. It gives me a little bit of wiggle room if I keep some of them from spawning. Oh, 
Ultra Greed has calmed down somehow. That's interesting. Didn't know that was possible. Yeah, you and your explosions. Fine. Good enough. isn't too much to say about this fight, honestly. It's not very harrowing. It's not going exceptionally well. It's just kind of... Just kind of pretty good. Just kind of pretty. It's like... It's like good enough. Effective. Not not particularly, like, amazing. Just, uh... Just, uh... Yeah. Just keep on keeping on. Slowly losing health, but I really don't think it matters that much. It's not even very much that I'm losing. Not relative to what what damage I'm dealing, anyway. Do do. Oh. Well, thanks, Blackheart. You made things marginally easier for me. Don't you dare with the with the clutch last last second healing. Come on, bro. I'm gonna win and you're not. Thank you. Just let it be done. Let it be over. Sensor has appeared in the basement. That's cool. Sensor's a pretty good item, actually. Cool. Why not? <laughs> Hierophant for fun, sure. Doesn't really change that much. And by that, I mean, I mean it changes literally nothing because the run is already over. Well... No, it's not technically over until I'm done with this donation process, but you know. I'm not even donating, I'm just putting money into a, mach into a machine. Anything else to do? Nope. Sweet. Alright, that's gonna do it for today, thanks for watching. Uh, I will take a look through this footage here and then, like, like just uh, skim through it a bit and see if I like how the microphone sounds and stuff. If it doesn't sound very good, I can probably find some ways to optimize it further, but... I think this is sufficient for now. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you could click like. If you've never seen my other stuff before and you enjoyed this, you could subscribe. I don't know, that might be a swell. Yes, Isaac, you're happy. You're you're a shopkeeper now. Good good job. Well, not Isaac, Monster Kid. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'm always out Catch you guys next time.